Hello, welcome to the JavaScript tutorial. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. So in the previous session we created this program and we created one function and we used this function from this basic program. We learned that function is a black box. You pass one or more values to a function. You may call a function without a value too, but uh, usually you would create a function that would expect some values to come in and each function would be called based on the values it is expecting. The function we created was expecting two values so you must call this function with those two values going into that function as argument. I can't call this function with five values because it is created with the expectation that it will take two values in. So a function is a black box, it takes values, it do something with it and it may return one value back optionally to the main program calling it. Let's modify this function so that it returns some value back to the main program. So I'm going to re remove this alert command. Let this function not produce a message on the screen let this function return the login back to the main program and let the main program do whatever it wants to do with the value it may display it on the screen or not so this is not a problem for the function anymore whether we want to display the login on the screen or not okay so the function will generate the login and it will simply return the login back to the program so the keyword return is used to specify which variables value you want to return back to the main program so you can only return one value back if you want to return anything you can only return one value back now if a function is written in such a way that it is returning some value back then you can't call it like this you have to place the return value in some variable okay so you have to equate the function all of the function on the left hand side to some variable so that whatever function returns it goes in in some un another variable okay so let's declare a variable called my login and we are initializing this variable by calling this function so whatever this function is going to return is going to go in this variable and then we can do whatever we want to do with it at this point maybe we want to display it on the screen save the work so let's test the program by running the page.html we should ex expect exactly the same output that is login ID displayed on the screen as you can see Hassan 10 but this time the alert message is not coming from within the function it is coming from the main program body 